Cooking in the kitchen, cooking in the kitchen, always cooking in the kitchen. Welcome back to Cooking in the Kitchen. We're so excited to be back with you guys. I'm Morgan, Jody's best cooking partner, and this is... Her mom, your best cooking partner, right? Yes. I'm Jody. I'm also representing the Carver County Library System. I'm the Chaska Library Branch Manager. <laughs> and of course, you already saw our other best cooking partner. Yeah. <laughs> That's our dog, Duke, who is ready to get into probably lots of trouble with us today. Yes. <laughs> so we'll try to keep him on the down low. Gosh, it's great to be back. Um, and I'm just, oh, let's see. Someone sent me a message and said they can't see us. So let me take a look here in just a moment. Um, I think, let me, <laughs> never good to have technical difficulties here. No, <laughs> so, oh, we can, they can see us now. So oh, sorry about awesome. that. I know, no. I know. Here, I'm gonna give Duke a treat. So, we are back, and of course, you know, it's been very cold. Yes, <laughs> um, so we've, we're dreaming of warmer places. Some of you, of course, are thinking about probably Super Bowl Sunday coming up too, yes. right? So we have a great recipe to share today, don't we, Morgan? Do you want to share what we're going to make? Yes. So we are going to making guacamole. Guacamole, exactly. We love guacamole. Um, and we found it um, in one of our ebook collections from the library through our Libby app. It's yes. called Mad Hungry Game Day Food. I happen to have a um, hard copy of it as well, but it's got so many fun, delicious, easy recipes. Yes, like it, everything looks delicious. <laughs> like, yes. Oh my goodness, Duke, what are you going to do? And. <laughs> I'm watching another screen here because we're getting some fun greetings out there. Uh, we have Mr. Paul. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Delaney says hi. Hi, Delaney. <laughs> oh, and your dad is saying hi as well. He's not Sounds home good. today, so he's uh, at work. I'm guessing it's about his break time, so he's going to join us uh, from his workstation. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but yeah, we love hearing from you. If you have questions or comments along the way today, just give us a shout. We've also got Miss Susan in the background, our amazing, uh, amazing, I was going to say technical librarian, technology mm -hmm. librarian in the background helping us out today. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so where do we begin? Oh, I know. I have a little story for you today, speaking of your dad. So, do you know this year, it'll be 17 years ago since I met your dad? No, I did not know that. Can you believe that? Yeah. You weren't even a twinkle. What do I say? You weren't even a twinkle in our eye yet? Yeah. <laughs> so, I had never really had guacamole before I met um, my husband. And uh, so, he really introduced me to guacamole 17 years ago. How romantic, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and so now it's really become kind of one of our favorite things. And he actually is like expert guacamole maker, so I wish he was here today. So, but I've kind of taken it under my wing in the last couple of years now too. So, oh boy. <laughs> Let's get started, okay? All right. So, here's our ingredient list. Do you want to show? We're going to use today a red onion. You can do white onion either way, whatever you kind of have handy. I like the sweeter red onion flavor in guacamole. So, red onion. Okay. We're going to do about a fourth a cup of that. We are going to add a couple of peppers today. Now, the recipe calls for serranos. I wasn't, I went to a couple different stores and wasn't able to find serranos right now. So, we're going to use, <laughs> what are these, Morgan? These. These are actually um, jalapenos. 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 Yep. So we're going to use a couple of those. If you're not spicy, people, you don't have to use jalapenos. Yeah. That's, or jalapenos. any kind of pepper. So. Yeah. All right. Um, so peppers, and then we need some fresh cilantro. Cilantro. 
And again, not everyone likes cilantro. Do you want to show them what that looks like? So you can opt. That's the thing about guacamole. It's so versatile. Like, you can really put anything in it. Well, not, not quite anything. anything, but yeah, you're right. There's lots of options. Okay. And we're going to need some salt, which I forgot to bring out. So I'm going to grab some... I'm gonna grab some kosher salt. Don't look at our nice messy spice cupboard back there. Yeah, and we need to organize it. Just... Yep. So we're gonna do some salt. Um, and then obviously the, the big highlight. The big highlight is avocados. Avocados. Avocados, you just can't have avocados if you yeah. <laughs> Gotta have avocados. And then what's that red red item over there? A tomato. A tomato. And I would recommend a aroma tomato. Um, they're less uh, kind of watery than some of the larger sized tomatoes, so I would recommend aroma. It's a little meatier. Oh boy, Duke is just kind of a handful today. Yes. And we also have... Oh, and a little lime juice today too. So this recipe doesn't call for the lime juice, but um, we're gonna add that in, not to overpower the, the avocado flavor, but um, it'll add a little extra zest. So let's get started. Um, and we'll talk a little bit, or I will talk a little bit about avocados and some of our tools we have here today. But just know that you can just have a bowl and a fork and a, like a good cutting knife you don't need all these fancy tools, mm, um, but we kind of became obsessed with, yeah. with this. Okay, so, and you know, guacamole can be very family friendly. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the trickiest part is the cutting, the slicing and dicing. So, you know, we're, we're working on our knife skills, um, but just know that an adult can do that part, and then once we get to the avocado part, so fun to mash that up and that can be very kid friendly. So I am working on my knife skills as well. <laughs> she definitely is. Yep. One of the things with chopping, you don't want to leave, you don't want your knife to actually leave the board, you know. Um, and that's hard. Um, hard to do. So and my family doesn't like a ton of onions, so I don't know if we'll put a full fourth cup, but it'll be pretty close. All right. <laughs> How are we doing today, Miss Morgan? Tired, but good. We're glad it's the weekend, though, right? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yep. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We've almost got our onion chopped up. Now, do you want to lift up? Well, you kind of have it in front of you. Do you want to lift up what you have in front of you? Yeah. It's really heavy. So, what is it called? Do you remember what it's called? No. This is called a mocajete. 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 Yes. I'm going to say, si, mocajete. Um, otherwise known as maybe a mortar and pestle. Um, this is traditional to, really, it dates back to, like, Aztec um, history in Mexico, South America, um, and being able to grind up spices and grind up flavors, so. And this is your little tool to use to mash up your Exactly. So we're gonna put a little bit of onion in, okay? We'll start with that. We and have then, some onion. Mm -hmm. Have some onion, what next? We need our, well, we need our peppers here. Yes. So uh, it's a very, like, peppers are kind of hard to cut because there's so many different ways to cut peppers. Yep. Oh, and I was going to, I'm working on one where you actually cut all the way around the, the core of it so it all comes off in one piece, but I didn't do that today. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. So, okay, so again, you don't have to have a mocajete. This one is made of granite, but some of the traditional ones that you might see um, in Mexican markets, um, or at some of the fancier cooking stores are actually made out of lava rock. Yeah, which we don't have that one, but it's totally fine. You can use either one. They work both really nicely. So I was just excited um, to start experimenting with one. I just got it this last week. Oh, did I squirt you with 
Yeah. Do you mind if I go get it? Nope. Oh dear. That's the thing about spicy peppers. You gotta be really careful. Oh dear. I think we've got some pepper juice in her eye. You alright? Okay. Alright. And that's the thing too. You never know how spicy once you cut into... I mean you can get peppers that are not spicy at all. And then sometimes, wow, they pack a real zoom. You alright? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm going to keep chopping then, Morgan. I'm going to do the cilantro next. Hopefully I get my cooking partner back here. <laughs> oh, yep. And uh, someone said we need to use some kitchen gloves, or maybe we should have had safety goggles on, right? <laughs> All right, we got our cilantro, and now I'm going to cut up our tomato. Okay, good deal. I don't want to lose my cooking partner. Yeah, that's moving You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just um, a little squirt. <laughs> all right, we're getting there. You okay? Yep. Okay, I'm done. I won't do any more peppers. How's that sound, everyone? <laughs> Pretty good to me. So what I'm doing now with my Roma, I'm actually cutting out the the core, the center with the seeds. Yeah, because... Um, and you can take a spoon and you can scoop. That's another way to do it. If you don't want to do the knife in the middle, you can try to scoop it out. It's kind of hard to scoop it because just... Yeah, but... Um, now, I'm kind of going fast today. Um... But one thing, when you're making guacamole and you have these different ingredients, you do want to try to make your cuts equal so that when you bite into your guacamole, you get equal kind of amounts of flavor that hits your hits your palate. Yeah, I mind so. not just that. <laughs> you're great. You are awesome. Uh, How are we doing, kiddo? Good, I just... I'm missing some of our comments and greetings over there. We'll have to get back and read. Do yeah? You if I wash my hands nope, quick? you can rinse them off quick. Right. That is totally fine. So, okay, we're getting there. Now we just have to add, so that we've got all those in our mocajete. And now we're gonna do our avocados. Okay, so a couple things about avocados that I just learned. Um, and disclaimer, I, I had the opportunity to go down to Mexico last weekend. I was pretty jealous about that. I know, but someday I'm going to take you there for sure, right? Yeah. Yep. I had to scope it out first. Anyway, I got to take an amazing cooking class and learn how to make a couple different kinds of guacamole um, and salsas. So the chef talked about how do you know when they're ripe. So when you go to the store, you actually want to look at where the stem was. You see on the end there? Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, and I'm totally guilty of this, like you go and you squeeze it, but that actually will bruise the avocado, she said. So you want to look to see how like ripe or kind of brownish that little end piece is, okay? And you can tell, I think, too, by the color. Um, the darker they are, the more ripe they likely are. So see how brown that mm -hmm. end is? I don't know if you can, it's hard with our lighting, but. So we're gonna just today make a small batch. So we're just gonna take three of our guacamoles. Guacamoles. <laughs> Avocados. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, all right. So, and I, again, you don't need this tool. You can just use a regular knife, but we have this handy dandy little avocado tool. So we're gonna make a slice down like that. Can I try? Yeah, kinda hard. And this one's not, I mean, it, obviously it's sharp enough to cut, but it's not like a knife, kind of, it's plastic. So, there you go. How's that going? I'll cut one with a knife over here, too. Sometimes. Do you have to cut right in there, too? Yep, you do. And then we're going to split it right open. Did you get it? I think so, yep. Mm -hmm. I can help you in a minute. Okay, and then we have to get the pit out, which 
usually can just stab it with your knife. Good job. Now can I open it? Yep, you can try to split it open. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I can help you. Morgan said she wants to have, we have some extra avocado, so tomorrow she wants to have avocado toast for breakfast. <laughs> How are we doing? Good job. You want to show everybody? Yep. Mine is not great, but... You did great, honey. It looks okay, so there is on this tool, good. there's a there's a little... It doesn't work very well, though. Here, let me try. Can I try? Okay. can't slam it. You gotta... Oh. Yeah, see, Morgan knows better than I do. Did you get it? Nope, oh, it didn't work. I'll do it. It's okay. My hands got a little dirty there, but... And sometimes you just have to take old-fashioned spoon. Yeah. See, we're still learning. This is, you know, we're not amazing at this, but yeah. we'll get there. So, can I do another one? <laughs> yeah, we need one more. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. We need our handy dandy oh. <laughs> tool. And um, as I mentioned earlier, yeah, dogs should not have avocado or guacamole. There's like the oil in avocado is really um, toxic to dogs, as is the onion. And I know some people put garlic too in their uh, or guacamole. See, I keep calling it. <laughs> keep calling it. Good job. There you go. It's not really straight. It's okay. It doesn't have to be straight. And you know what? That's all part of the learning process. So then you can try to split it open. You okay? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, while you're working on that, I should mention um, any adults that are watching today, make sure that if you're not already participating in our adult winter reading program at the library, sign up and be part of it. For every book that you read and write a review, um, you can enter to win um, a Kindle Fire or um, Barnes & Noble gift cards. Yeah, I actually have a Kindle Fire. Yep, you do, but so yeah, which is great because then you can put your Libby app on there. So, yeah, but, I, oh, go sometimes, ahead, sorry. Sometimes I listen to books on my Libby app, which is really fun. Exactly, yep, because there's both, you can read on the Libby app, um, look at that. Wait, can I put this part in there? Yep. These are, I can tell her. Ooh. We're just a hot mess here over here. It's here. slippery. Slippery. Yeah, I can't do that. It's okay. My fingies. No problem. All right, we got one more, and then we're going to start mashing up here. All righty. Mashy, mashy. Mashy, mashy. These aren't, like, as ripe as I like them, but... And these are avocados from Mexico, I could tell by the sticker, but there's also um, avocados that come from Guatemala and avocados that come from India. And the Haas um, that, you, yeah, that you might see in the stores often, um, H-A-S-S, -S, that is a, I was reading about it, it's a Mexican-Guatemalan hybrid um, that we oftentimes see. So... <laughs> oh, we're getting some more fun comments. Yeah. Good job, you guys. Now I, now I may have to make guac myself from Cindy. <laughs> oh, and our friend Chris says hello earlier. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm gonna look at some more of our comments. Yeah. Okay. So then we're just gonna start mashing this together. Uh, oh, mom. Cindy said they have eight kilo fires. Oh, that's who, yeah, the library has eight Kimmel Fires to give away for the Adult Winter Reading Program, so that's pretty exciting. Now, again, if you just have a regular bowl, you can take a fork, uh, that would work, right? Because um, mm -hmm. that's what I used to do um, to get it all mixed together. And you can kind of decide how much you want to mash it to ba based on, like, how chunky you want it. Yeah. We, uh, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was not going to say anything. I was just looking at our... One of the recipes that in the cooking class we did last weekend actually has rosemary in it. Yes. Which was really tasty. I would have never paired that flavor with guacamole, and it was so good. So, we're getting there. 
This is like a workout for your arm. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's not about what the mocha head say, it's not about pounding. It's, yeah, it's just you kinda so gotta get this like twist and push. Like this. Yep, exactly. It looks very good from here. It's gonna be tasty. Definitely. Now, oftentimes, Morgan, with especially with avocado, what happens is that it can brown really easily. Um, and so there's some tricks you can do to keep when you when you if you want to keep your guac like in the fridge for a little bit. Um, if you take plastic wrap and push it all the way down, like don't just cover it. Um, or you can put your avocado pits in there or add a little extra lime juice um, to try to keep that air from oxidizing it and <clears throat> getting it to turn brown. Oh, which reminds me, we're going to add a little bit of lime juice. Can I try? Yep. Yeah. So we have this other cool tool here. It's a little lime duster thing. Right? A lime juicer. Yeah. So do I just yep. squeeze it? Mm -hmm. bowl? Oh. Miss Susan says we gotta scroll up. There's a lot of comments, <laughs> which well, is so fun. Do I just um, squeeze it? Like yep, this? you can squeeze it down. Don't get your fingers in there so they pinch, right? Oh, good job. Yep. Ooh, fresh lime juice is the best. Yep. And I think because of the amount of guac, that's all we're gonna. Then we gotta just mix it in there. It looks tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's so fun to explore recipes together. Yeah, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like totally obsessed with all the cookbooks in the Libby app and all the cookbooks on the shelves at our libraries too. Like it's so fun um, to just be able to check out one of those cookbooks and of course, I love cookbooks with pictures, too. So, so huge. Okay. I'm thinking this looks great. Yeah, it looks really mm. good. So, we uh, like have a fun little chip and dip plate. So, let's grab our spatula. Alrighty, so I just scoop it and then put it in here. Oh, I love watching you teach, Morgan. You're... You're a wonderful mom. Aw, thanks, Christy. <laughs> All right, do I just put it in here then? Oh, and yep, you put it right in the middle there. Whatever fits in there. And your dad says some people say to keep the pit in with the guac to help prevent browning. Oh, you're right, Susan. We forgot the salt. We can, we'll add a little bit. We got so busy with all of our, I'm just going to. We'll add a little salt in there. <laughs> Whoops. Thank you. Okay, do you want to grab that bag of chips? Yes. All right. Yes. Now this was really like, a, this is pretty chunky block today. So we could have we could have kept working at it to make it smoother, but this, this will be good. Yeah. We've got some fun. We have some fun purple chips. Yeah. Well, it's, they're called blue corn tortilla chips. They yep. are like purple. They might be good. All right. Here's some blue corn tortilla chips. Here, we'll, we'll show them the guac up close. There's our chunky style guacamole. It looks really good, so I'm excited to try it. Oh, hi from Linda McGraw. Good show. Morgan and Jody makes me hungry. Hi from Sarah. And Amy says the chunkier the better. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, I got a lot. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Delicious. Yeah, that's really good. Oh my gosh. I, th I know what I'm having for lunch. <laughs> Guac and chips. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa, this has been so fun to be back cooking in the kitchen. Yes, and very messy too. Yeah, we kind of have a big mess today. But that's part of the fun. Yeah, definitely. So, oh, one other quick tool that we have that actually you, you and dad gave this to me for my birthday last year. Mm -hmm. That's called a guac lock. Um, and this is, again, to help prevent browning. So just something that, again, you don't need this, but it's been fun to have. And it does, it's amazing how long it'll last in the guac lock. So, 
Oh, you're welcome, Amy. Such a fun show this morning. She says thank you. Uh -huh. We're so glad you all could join us this morning. Go get your ingredients. Like, yes. it's so simple and so fun and so delicious. It only takes, like, 25 to 20 minutes. I think we're on 25 minutes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, okay. Sadly, we have to say goodbye. Yes, but we'll see you next time. In March. Yes. We'll be back March 19th. Gosh, what are we going to cook then? Hmm, I don't know. You guys have to see. Yep, I guess we'll have to see, and you never know. We'll, you know, we'll have to find some more special guests along the way, right? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Well, we're going to enjoy our guacamole. You all have a great Saturday. Yes, and if you made this with us, definitely enjoy your guacamole. And oh, come, geez. oh yes, and come check out cookbooks. Yes. Either from the comforts of your own home on the Libby app or stop in at the libraries and we'll show you where to find all the best recipes. Definitely! Bye! Bye. Bye.